In this video, we're going to look at angles in a quadrilateral. The four angles in a quadrilateral, or a four-sided shape, will always add together to give you 360 degrees. So if we've got a quadrilateral like this one with angles A, B, C, and D, the four angles will add together to give you 360 degrees. Let's have a look at a typical question now. There's a typical question whenever you've been given three angles and you've got to work out the fourth one. So in this, we know that all four of these angles will add together to give you 360 degrees. So to work out the missing one, you would add together the three you've been given and take those that answer away from 360 degrees. So we're going to add together the 120 plus 60 plus 70. And we'll add those together and that'll give you 0. 2 plus 6 is uh, 8 plus 7 is 15. Put the 5 down, carry the 1 and that's 2. So these three angles add together to give you 250 degrees. So the x, the value for x must be what you would add to this to get 360 degrees or you would take the 250 away from 360 degrees and when you do that you get 110 degrees. So this missing angle is 110 degrees and that's it. So they're quite common questions where you've been given a quadrilateral, you've got three angles and you need to work out the fourth one. And you just add them together and get take it away from 360. Now this question is, we've been asked to explain why the sum of the four angles add together to give you 360 degrees or why the sum of the interior angles of any quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So to do that, what I'd recommend you do is you cut the quadrilateral into two triangles. So you just join up two opposite corners. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the angles in each of those triangles. Now we know the angles in a triangle add together to give you 180 degrees. So that those three angles in red will add together to give you 180 degrees. And the three angles I'm about to draw in blue will also add together to give you 180 degrees. And if you look, those angles cover all four angles of the quadrilateral. So that means that because it can be split into two triangles, and as the angles in each triangle are 180 degrees, the angles in the quadrilateral will add up together to give you 360 degrees, and that's it. Okay, so we've looked at how to answer a typical question whenever you've been given three angles, and we've looked at why the angles add up together to give you 360 degrees. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at some special quadrilaterals and some special facts about their angles. So here we've got a parallelogram. So a parallelogram, uh, the top is parallel to the bottom and the left is parallel to the right uh, sides of the, the parallelogram. Um, in terms of the angles, the opposite angles are equal. So if this angle here was, I don't know, 130 degrees, the opposite one would also be 130 degrees. Okay. Um, if we want to find out the two little ones, well, if you add these together, you get 260 degrees. And if you take that away from 360, that leaves us with 100 degrees. And if we half it because they're both the same, that gives us 50 degrees and 50 degrees. And do you notice that also the obtuse angle and the acute angle add together to give you 180 degrees? That will always be the case because the top is parallel to the bottom. These are what we call co-interior angles. And um, so in a parallelogram, the opposite angles are equal, but also the, obtu uh, the obtuse angle and the acute angle will always add together to give you 180 degrees. Okay, let's look at a uh, typical question now to do with parallelograms. So it says, work out the values of x and y. So first of all, we know that the opposite ones are going to be equal. So if the value here is 60 degrees, y is also going to be equal to 60 degrees. Okay. Now there's two ways to get x. One, we can just know that, as, as I've just said, the acute angle and the obtuse angle will add together to give you 180 degrees. So we can just take the 60 away from 180 degrees. And that will give us 120 degrees. So that means that x is equal to 120 degrees. Also, we could have taken, we could have added together to 60 and the 60, which was 120, taken that away from 360, and then halved it, and that would have given us the angles for x as well. Okay, so that's a parallelogram. Next, a kite. On a kite, it's the angle, so if the kite's like this, the angle here on the left and the angle here on the right would be equal to each other. And also all four angles would add together to give you 360 degrees. So let's have a look at a question now. So the question says, shown as a kite, work out the size of x. So we've been given the angle on the right hand side to be 110 degrees. As the kite's got a line of symmetry, the angle on the left will also be 110 degrees. And now we just need to work out x. Now all four angles will add together to give you 360. So if we add together the 110, the 110 and the 80, that will give us 300 degrees. And so then that means mean the x is going to be 60 because we're going to take the 300 away from 360 and that leaves us 60 degrees. So to recap, a kite, if you've got a kite like so, standing in this sort of normal position, the left and right hand angle will be equal to each other as it's got a line of symmetry. Next, a rhombus. 
Again, a rhombus, the opposite angles are equal to each other, and the side, the acute angle and the obtuse angle also add together to 180 degrees. Very similar to, well, very similar, the same as a parallelogram. Okay. So here, uh, it says work out the sides of the uh, work out the sizes of angles x and y. Well, again, the opposite ones are equal to each other. So if that's 105, y is going to be 105. And again, to get x, we could add together the 105, the 105, and take that away from 360 and half it, and that's what's left for x in the opposite one. Or you can just know that the obtuse angle, this is the obtuse one, and the acute angle will add together to give you 180 degrees. So if we just take 100, 105 away from 180, that will leave us with 75 degrees. That means that x is equal to 75 degrees. Okay, and finally, here we've got our trapezium. And on the trapezium, um, it, the top line is parallel to the bottom line. So that will mean that the angles here on the left and left, these two will add together to give you 180 degrees. And the angles on the right, these two angles will add together to give you 180 degrees because they're co-interior. Okay, uh, so let's have a look at the typical question there. So it says, shown as a trapezium, work out the sizes of the angles X and Y. So again, these two on the left-hand side will add together because it's parallel, top and bottom. The angles here on the left will add together to give you 180, and the ones on the right will add together to give you 180. So X will equal 100 degrees. The reason being, well, 80 taken away from 180 is equal to 100 degrees. So that means that X is 100 degrees. <clears throat> and Y, if we take uh, 130 away from 180, 180 minus 130, we will get 50 degrees. And that must mean that y is equal to 50 degrees. And if we just check our um, answer, 100 plus 50, 150, uh, plus 130 will be 280, plus 80 equals 360. So all four angles add together to give you 360. That's it. So just to recap, the angles in a four-sided shape will always add together to give you 360 degrees. If you've been given a quadrilateral and you know three angles, you can add them up and take it away from 360 to find the missing one. The angles add up to 360 because you can split it into two triangles and the angles in each triangle are 180 degrees. In a parallelogram, the opposite angles are equal to each other and the obtuse and the acute angles will add together to give you 180 degrees. A kite, the angle on the left and the right will be equal to each other if it's upright like so. A rhombus is the same as a parallelogram. And finally, a trapezium. Um, if the parallel sides are the top and the bottom, then the angles on the left will be added together to give you 180 degrees, and the angles on the right will equal 180 degrees. That's it.